Hello parents, I hope you're having a nice weekend. I just wanted to check in. Um, I know I sent a few things home in the green folder this weekend and just thought I would send a short video explaining what all is in there. It's easier probably to do it this way than to try to explain it all in an email. Um, a couple, because these are things are gonna be repeated throughout the year that you're gonna see um, pretty much weekly that are gonna come home uh, with your children. So. One of the things you probably saw in there today um, or yesterday was a wow band and we are starting to talk about our wow words that we're learning in class. Um, we have learned the wow word considerate and then we learned the wow word tidy. And a wow word, <clears throat> excuse me, always accompanies a picture like this one and we show it to the kids and then the back of it tells you the wow word which is fair. And then we talk about how we would make this fair and what fair means. And then this is a word that we use all throughout the week. Um, it's integrated within the curriculum that we're doing. And then at the end of the week, whether that's a Monday to Monday or Wednesday to Wednesday, um, the kids will get this wow band. We thought about putting them on them as bracelets, realizing they would probably pull off. So we just thought we would send them in the green folders. And if you want to put them in a special place, you can ask your children about the wow word and what it means. Um, and those will be coming home weekly. Uh, also in the packet uh, was this. Um, don't stress, don't look at that and say, oh my gosh, do we have to have that whole thing finished? <laughs> the answer is no. Um, but one of the things that I want to start doing with the children is a lot of practice writing their letters. Um, we're doing a lot of that in class, um, but I also ask if you have the time to do it at home as well. Um, each week you're going to get a packet that looks like this. This shows you the way that we are making the letter in class. So we have done uh, slide down, slide down, and then if the kids are doing this one, you might hear, I'm sorry, if the kids are doing this one, you might hear them say, wee, when we connect the top to the bottom, we call that the slide. And then we've been going straight down and up over the rainbow. This is a really great tool, um, this page um, that the kids can use and they can just trace it with their finger. One, two, and then wee down the slide and then down and straight back up over the rainbow, okay? Now attached to that are some practice pages. These are for you all to do at home. Um, these do not need to all be finished and sent back in, although I do make a very big deal if they wanna bring them back in kind of like homework and I will check them and put big stickers on them, big stars on them and, and um, you know, tell them how wonderful of a job they have done. I realize this is a lot, so this is not something I would expect them to do in one sitting. Um, there may be some children who are motivated to do that. This is really something they enjoy. Um, but this is important because it provides repetition and repetition is what helps us learn things, um, especially in pre-K. Um, so even if it's something that you wanna break down and do one row at a time, right? They just practice one, two, three. One, two, three, right? Like that. And then maybe they get a little sticker for each row they complete, right? Same for the small letters. And then an additional practice page on the second page. Now, these can come back in a week. They can come back in two weeks. You could work on some now. You could work on some in a month. It's really up to you how you want to utilize them. If you send them back in for me to put a sticker on and to um, look at for the kids, keep this one at home because this is a great tutorial for the kids um, so they know how to form the letters. I think some of what we're seeing this year, because um, there was not a lot of formal school for all of our little kiddos last year, is a lot of these fine motor things, um, writing and the pencil grip and whatnot, are not as well established just because we haven't had the time to be in school. Um, so this is something we wanna work on, okay. The next thing that's in your packet, I didn't have one here at home, but you should have a name tag in there. Um, that is also for the same reason. Have it, we use name tags at school. So when the kids get a piece of uh, paper to work on, we put their name tag out for them so they can see how their name is written and also so that they understand when they're writing their name how to make the letters. And it's also important that uh, we emphasize the left to right progression of writing letters. We always start on the left side of the page and write this way. Um, so having a name tag at home anytime, it's great for practice. They can use that and put a piece of paper underneath it and they can just practice writing their name, okay? So it's important we use those name tags a lot, not only for just identifying where they're gonna sit in class, 
but also just help them, especially at the beginning of the year, they're a little tentative. I'm not sure how to spell my name, or I don't know all the letters, or I don't know how to make a K. And I tell them it's totally okay if they don't know how to make all their letters, that's what they're in pre-K for, but that name tag really helps them have the visual um, in order to practice the letters. I am also going to be sending home some other videos with some fun um, activities they can do, uh, tactile things that they can do to practice their name and practice their letters. Uh, last thing, if you could remind them when they are working at home, if you could please remind them about their pencil grip. We've started calling it pencil grip in class. Um, we want all the children to uh, get into the habit of holding their pencil like this, right, between their fingers um, or marker or whatever tool that they're using. Um, this helps us have the proper grip. We still have a lot of kids who like to, you know, are, are in the habit of doing this and they're coloring this way and they're writing their letters with that fist grip. Um, that makes it pretty challenging uh, to, to be able to have um, the right fine motor skills for writing the letters. So if you are helping them write their letters at home or write their names, or even when they're coloring, if you remind them, hey, don't forget Mrs. McAdams talks about the pencil grip, um, that would be extremely helpful because the more they get into this habit of having this kind of grip on their marker or pencil, um, the more well-established they will be for writing their letters. So, okay, thanks everybody, that's all for now. Um, just appreciate you having, take, I'm sorry, taking the time to go through these things. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. And again, these are some things that you'll start seeing each week, these packets coming home and these wow bands. All right, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.